Good evening, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Mr. Fred and Friends. Um, got some special guests on tonight to talk about a special thing. The ICC is coming up here. Um, everybody knows that uh, Tim Montpressor started it years ago, and his uh, father and mother have taken it over, uh, Frank and Jennifer. And so I'm obviously I can't go to it, which is a shame. I would have loved to have made that. But what I have on tonight is I've got four different people that are very notable in the sport of paintball that are going. And um, so we're going to sit and we're going to talk about it in a little bit. Uh, I'm very, very pleased to have the guests I have on tonight. They're, they're not only great people, um, but they're going to support a, a great, great thing. And that's the um, Iron City Classic. So it's going to be pretty cool. Let me get my comments up here real quick. I'm sure it's already, oh yeah, they're buzzing in already. Hey, Tracy, Connor Bryant from Australia. How are you guys doing, huh? Anyhow, um, you know, I got a few things to mention and do my shout outs real quick. I don't want to take too long because uh, Steve McGuire's on tonight and Steve's going to tease me about my long monologue, you know. In fact, you know, Steve's coming down. He's one of the guests tonight. Um, down here, uh, we call him B.G. McGuire, uh, short for Biscuits and Gravy McGuire. But, you know, I, I'm going to let that go. Uh, but I'm going to talk about a couple of things. Uh, two things, first of all. I went out to a tournament uh, this last weekend, and uh, my little buddies, the, the Herman Younguns, were playing at it. Just fantastic. I learned two things. Number one, these kids can really play paintball. Number two, when you're bald, wear a hat. Because I've used about six gallons of banana boat on my head already, man. It is just, I, I don't even want to touch it. It's just frying. Uh, but anyhow, um, that's how it is, you know, when you don't think that's what happens to you. But anyhow, tonight I've got a great lineup, everybody. I've got Mr. Joshua Silverman from Belkin. I've got Mr. Caesar Pizzo from Ultra Silk. I got Kevin Donaldson from the Master Blasters. And of course, Everybody knows Mr. B.J. McGuire. Well, Steve, excuse me, Steve, not B.J. I, I, I got to break that habit. He loves biscuit and gravy, so that's what they call him. So Mr. Steve McGuire from the Unknown Paintball Podcast. So uh, I got a couple things I want to mention real quick. Um, last week I had uh, Freddie Lappetin on. Oh, I probably just blew his name again. I'm sure Bill's going to be laughing at me for that one. Uh, but anyhow, he heads to PBSL down in Southern California. They're having... a uh, big event. It's called uh, 10K. And what it is, is uh, it's teams made up of 10 people, seven pumps, and three mechanical. It's October 16th, and it's going to be at the Combat Paintball Field down in Southern California. So if you get a chance, get on South Cal PBSL site, and uh, you'll be able to check it out. Uh, it's a great, great organization. Um, I had a lot of the PBSL guys on last week, and they were just nothing short of terrific. Really, really worked. And, and then next week, uh, you know, I got another real good one coming up next week, Bill and I do. Um, you know, I, I want to thank Mark Gong and Mike Beard. They're, uh, they're the two guys that really, really run the Herman's Group, which is the Young Guns, uh, which is a spinoff of Yoji Ironman. And uh, they are just terrific. They've been friends of mine for a long, long time. I played paintball with these guys for many, many years. Uh, just great. And they're going to be on next week along with... Uh, Anthony Portello's two sons, and we're going to sit. We're going to talk Young Guns again next week. It should be uh, be pretty cool. But yeah, I was at the tournament up at Fairfield Extreme Paintball Field up in Fairfield, California, this last weekend. And I got to tell you, mm -hmm. that is an absolute great paintball field. Uh, you get a chance, you're going to want to get up there. Fairfield Extreme Paintball. It's out on Cordelia Road. It's uh, very, very cool. Uh, absolutely love it. Uh, Bobby Dorth, how you doing, buddy? Uh, from up in Canada, Inc. Henry, Hank Emery, uh, you guys are all cool. I appreciate it so much. Um, anyhow, I want to get my shout outs here real quick. I, I, I'm going to bring up Bill real quick. This is my co-host. Please, everybody, welcome Mr. William Bailey. That's right. Sit up, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing this evening, buddy? Good. How are you, Fred? I, I see you're, uh, you were out in the sun a little bit too long. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I, I'm getting better now. You know, I mean... I, I, I looked like a tail light earlier. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just, uh, and you know, what's funny too, is I was out there having fun and I hardly ever wear a hat, but you know, from now on, I will wear a hat. Yeah. So I, yeah. We're yeah. out of 
place. We, we don't have any, you know, trees in the staging area. We were shooting real guns last weekend, and I, yeah, I got a lot of fun, too. So, yeah, yeah. I've seen the pictures you sent, man. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, I, I loved it, you know. And, you know, just before the show starts, too, you know, I got Tim Schloss calling me up, you know, and he's, he's up there at Dave Ruddick's, um, and Dave and Tony Ruddick, and uh, he's up there with Chip and Diane Kurtz, and yeah. they're having a big barbecue, and he said Dave was out there uh, frying up some spam or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> so they're up there in Wisconsin having a great, great time. So, you know, uh, I give a shout-out to all of them, you know, Tim. Yeah. Terry, Dave, just the, the whole bunch of them. Chip and Diane, it, just a great, great bunch of people. Um, I wish they, we were there. They sent me some pictures. They're at the lake swimming. They said it's still 100 degrees there. Yeah, I know. It's been been a little toasty out here, too. Um, obviously, it was real toasty last weekend, but, <laughs> yeah, I won't go there anymore. Um, so, you know, uh, we got the Monte Casino coming up here pretty quick, buddy. Yep. I just okay. seen that. They just made a post. They're going to be doing a, a giveaway for uh, a T-shirt. Um, it's their new T-shirt design that they've got for this year. And, uh, I've seen I, it. Is that the one with the cross? Like it's got yeah. button? Yeah. Yeah, Road to Rome, and the, you know it's got all the the, the, the the skulls and stuff. Yeah, the roads paved with skulls. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah it looked pretty sharp. Uh, I, I actually can't wait to uh, to go do that. I am I am so excited. You know, and Tim. You know, that's one thing that Tim said. Is he was so excited about us coming mm -hmm. back there and be able to all get together and everything like that. And, oh, yeah. Yeah. And, and and then I get my new belt in tent. You know <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping my buddy, it's coming with the paint. So uh, I'm hoping my buddy will have it set up for me when I get there. But we'll see what happens. You know. I have no names, Bill. No names. You have, you have buddies? What? <laughs> I did totally mention that, huh? Yeah. It'll be, it'll be there. It's a... I'm probably going to go down a couple of weeks early and get everything set up, actually. So, you know. well, yeah, you're kind of a big deal in that that thing. So you have been for a long time. Oh yeah, it's 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 a, it's an old game, very fun. It's uh, it's one of the best times I, I have. It's awesome. I love it there. Very cool. Yeah, I want to give a quick shout out to Kathy Alvarez is watching. So is the Bond chick. I've never met the Bond chick, Kathy Alvarez. I seen her last weekend. Uh, you know, Kathy and I go back. She's pretty cool. Uh, I yeah. like her. So I try to mention everybody that tunes in. Cause we get a, it's just jumping up. Gino's watching right now. You know, I wanted to mention real quick, you know, Gino, everybody had an operation. So, um, yeah, he, it, yeah, I guess it went real good. And he says he's healing up pretty good. So, you know, that poor family, you know, between him and his daughter in the past few weeks, you know, um, have had some some operations, you know, so, you know, my prayers went out to him and went out to his daughter right off the bat. Um, and uh, I'm sure everybody else did, but it's all working out good. And I am, I am so very, very happy for that because uh, like I say, in a few minutes, when I get my shout outs, you know, Gino does it quite a bit for people. He really, really does. Um, yeah. You just don't, you just don't see it. Good so but anyhow, let me get my shout outs real quick. Cause we got a good group here tonight, buddy. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I might just I might just pull them up and go have a sandwich. I mean these guys are gonna take over, you know. <laughs> I'm oh, telling you. Yeah. yeah. You got you got Josh, Caesar, Steve. Yep. Yep. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. So, now now Bill, please, no bacon jokes when I pull Steve up, okay? No bacon, <laughs> no maple jokes. This is the first time he's come it. back since we yeah. <laughs> Well he's coming down here, they've released him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can't, yeah, he got it. He got a letter from Canada the other day. Said, "Be free, my man. Go to, so go to the U.S." Is it yeah, probation? Yeah. He's, free yeah. from he's down here, man. Yeah. Matter of fact, yeah, all, the cooks are hiding all the biscuits. Cause I, you know, he's gonna come down here and hit the biscuits and gravy hard. It really is, you know. Matter of fact, that's why he brings the extra suitcase away. I understand and lines it and takes it home in a bag. It's it's pretty sad. I don't know. You know those dogs go nuts when he goes into the airport. Those dogs yeah. Dogs. <laughs> yeah, you wonder why the animals follow him all the time, you know. <laughs> <laughs> hey Bud, Bud Orr's watching us, everybody. Mr. Bud Orr, which I will mention here in a few minutes. Okay, let me start real quick with these shout outs so I can get these people out here, Billy. Uh, let's start with Mr. Tim Schloss. Uh, Tim Schloss used to own Tiger Stripe Camouflage back in the day. And now, as Tim says, he has big white paintball 10 minutes from the St. Louis airport. <laughs> now, Bud and, and, and Bill, Bill frequents it quite a bit. And Bud's been there. And uh, 
it's a heck of a field the way I understand it. So, you know, if you're anywhere uh, within 100 miles, it's worth a 100 mile, 200 mile ride to go play that field. Am I right, Billy? Oh, yeah. The, the new staging area, you know, he just got where, where you walk up to it now. It's it's nice. I can't can't even explain it. It's yeah. He used, well, you know, he, he, he used he, he, trainers and they built uh, big rolling garage doors. I, I mean, it is nice. It's yeah, he keeps calling me going. Oh, oh, I got two jets out there. He called me up a couple of days later. Oh, 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 I bought a school bus. I'm putting out there. <laughs> you know, he called me up. Oh. oh I bought a yacht I'm putting out there. So, you know, this is going to, um, I, I actually can't wait to go play it. We're going to, we're going to get to I do just that. Got an ambulance. I and just an got ambulance. An ambulance. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love it. All right. Moving along. Uh, Mr. Dan and John Colby. Uh, Dan Colby is watching us right now. Also, everybody, uh, um, Dan and John immortal air. I've uh, been with them guys for over 30 years. Terrific air system. Um, like I say, we, we never badmouth any equipment on this show whatsoever. Uh, you know, I'm happy that everybody's all in business and going, it's just, this is what I prefer. This is what I love. And this is what I roll with. Am I right, Billy? That's right. It's awesome. That's right. It, absol it absolutely is. And Mr. Bud Orr. Well, I already said Bud, because Bud, uh, Bud watches us every week. Bud's been on the show a few times, and uh, <laughs> he's just a, a, a loyal viewer. Um, you know, he... He just really can't even say anything about, but you know, I mean, he's done so much for paintball and, and he is still doing it for paintball. He's yeah. such a great, great person. It's just, uh, you know, it, you just can't, I just run out of words when I talk about the guy. I just love the guy, period. And he knows yeah. it too, him and Kathy. So. If you're ever at a game and you get a chance to talk, sit down and talk. He'll, he'll change your life. Oh, let me tell you, you know, getting Bud alone, he is one. <laughs> Funny guy, period. You know, I, he, uh, when you get to know the real boat, or you just crack up because he's great, man. <laughs> and then I was say hi to Mr. Tom K. Um, Tom K. had Airgun Designs. Um, Mr. Rainy and Juby Boucher, they had paintball news back in the day, put out that newspaper two times a month and never charged the players. You could find out what had happened, what was coming up, what was going on. It, it was just a terrific newspaper. It's something, you know, that that the young players now wish they could have experienced some of the stuff back in the day uh, like it was, because it was absolutely terrific. It really, really was. And that's the reason I mention all these people, everybody. You know, we can talk about the new kids all day long, and that's great, and, and we'll keep doing that, but I don't want the new kids to remember. I don't want them to forget, excuse me, any of these guys, because these are the guys that really worked very, very hard at the beginning. When paintball was very, very hard to get off the ground, because, uh, you know, there's a lot of bad rap about paintball when it first started. And it took a, a lot of work and a lot of effort from a lot of people to really make it what it is today. Yeah. Yep. Now I'm going to say hi to Randy Camilla, uh, editor for APG, Mr. Jerry Braun. Jerry has the field where we did the woods ball uh, a couple of months ago. And I got to tell you, I got to put that in the tie, but five best times I've ever had in paintball, period. Kevin Donaldson, the, the gatekeeper for that, and Kevin and, and Rosie and and all of the blasters did just nothing short of a terrific job. But, you know, going there, Billy, I would expect no less from them because I was there 30 years ago on the same damn field. They did the same job then. They were just yeah. younger and faster. You know, that, that was awful. Other I just, than that. <laughs> I just wish we could have seen this bear. Yeah, <laughs> I knew the bear was coming up. <laughs> Real, real quick, everybody, the bear, he talked about the bear. We did a show with Kevin one day. Kevin's got a, uh, a big stuffed bear skin, right? Well, Kevin had the bear on his shoulder, right? The head on his shoulder. Well, then the next day, you know, we all laughed about it. The next day, Bill and Steve McGuire, Steve McGuire's going, oh, my God, Kevin has a real bear. Do you see the real bear he had next to him? It took a day and a half to convince William Bailey and Steve McGuire, that that was not a real bear. <laughs> that was hilarious. Uh, real quick, okay, uh, and Ron, uh, Ross Alexander, he had line aside back in the day. Uh, he had the Bushmaster. Jim Lively, Lively Productions. Uh, I want to mention, you know, that his wife had a heart attack uh, a couple of months ago. She's doing terrific, Linda. So we're all, all very, very happy for that. And uh, I want to mention Gino, like I have, uh, Gino's beautiful little daughter, uh, Eugenia, and uh, Gino, uh, we wish both of you nothing but the best. Uh, 
Gino just had an operation, so uh, we want him to get well. Gino does an awful, awful lot of things for paintball that people don't see behind the scenes, and that's why I mention them every week. And then I got to mention the Gong Brothers, uh, Mark Jr. and Jalen, Jaden. These kids played up a storm last weekend. I mean, I, I, if you get a chance, jump online and look at some of Mark's videos that he took of these kids. They were just terrific. All right, Billy, what do you say we drag these guys out here? Bring them on. Bring, bring them on. on. Yeah, bring it on. Huh? I'm going to start first with Mr. Joshua Silverman from Zelkin. How you doing, Josh? Evening, everyone. And now I'm going to jump over to Mr. Caesar Pizzo from Ultra Sill. How you doing, Caesar? Good evening, fellas. Mr. Kevin Donaldson from the Master Blasters. Hey, you know I was kidding about that old joke, right? Yeah. What up, yeah. boys? I, I want to say that before yeah. we meet again. <laughs> That's all. It's happened, and then, Kevin. yeah. And then, everybody, please welcome Mr. Steve McGuire. How you doing, buddy? I'm good. Good to be on. <laughs> yeah. Biscuits and gravy. Yeah, I knew that was Stevie. How yeah. many nicknames am I gonna get? Like, well, I don't know. I thought BG was pretty good. But, you know, you're always whining about biscuits and, and gravy. And why is it nobody's bugging Jeep? Jeep. <laughs> <laughs> He's watching you too. He's watching you. <laughs> Take a shot for every nickname you get tonight. Oh, there I you go. I don't have that much alcohol. Oh, yeah. 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 Besides that, there you go. Be drunk in 45 seconds. <laughs> now, I told everybody to be easy on you tonight. It says no bacon, no maple syrup joke. So, yeah, that's like putting the ball right on the T ball stand. I mean, that's yeah. not even pitching it out. That's like setting it up on a post yeah. and just saying, okay, here's the bat. <laughs> yeah. You, you know what's funny? What's funny that you mentioned that? I heard that you were the only kid ever to strike out in two balls. No. Nope. How does that happen? <laughs> no. Nope. Actually, never. I actually never played T ball. Believe it or not. Oh really? And I know you were joking. I'm not. I never played T ball. Oh, I went really? straight. I, I my dad used to like Before to play catch with me. I was one of those lucky people that had a great dad, and I went straight to hit and right off the bat. Yeah. See, when I was young, we played stick ball um, because you know, growing up. Uh, we were in that type of a neighborhood, you know. So you got yourself a stick and a rock. In the Great Depression, yeah, I know. Was. In the Great Depression, yeah. It was, it was <laughs> back then. You couldn't see nothing. Yeah, well, I sprained my ankle coming off the arc. So, <laughs> but you know that how it is. So, anyhow, tonight, everybody, uh, the reason I brought all these guys on, first of all, they're, they're fabulous. They're going to have some terrific stories for everybody. But they are all going to the ICC this coming weekend. And um, as you can see behind me, Check it out, Steve. I did that by myself, too. I see that. 14 hours is all it took. Only 14? Uh, only 14, yeah. I had all I could do not to call you and embarrass myself. But <laughs> <laughs> you'll last, but it's the truth. <laughs> so, but all of these guys are going to the ICC this weekend. weekend and, uh, you know, I know uh, Jennifer and Frank are, are heading up there. And it's going to be just a, a terrific, terrific tournament with a gazillion teams. Man, they, they've got it loaded up this weekend. So I'm going to start with you, Mr. Donaldson. You're okay. going there. Obviously, you never, you never miss any of them, huh? No, I've been to all of them, every one. From the very yeah. first time when Tim called, when we had the 18 teams, we were one of the 18 in the original event. We've been there every year. So the Blasters are teams, going, right? Two teams this year. What? Oh, the Blasters are going with two teams then, right? Yeah, two teams. We have two teams in it this year. Oh, outstanding. And I know, Caesar, you're going there. Um, Caesar Pizzolo, uh, he has the ultra silk. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you're gonna going to get to do anything when you get there other than work on markers. No, I'm not working on markers at all, though. I well, he only needs one other person. <laughs> Are you going, Bailey? You could do it. No. I don't want to get to shop that much. So, Caesar, you, you've been there before, too, right? Yes. Yes, we've gone the last uh, two two times. I didn't make it the first year, so. But uh, this year, I am going to be bringing. I don't know if you guys always saw those uh, play for forty stickers that we made uh, last year, the Tim ones, the circle oh, ones. Really? Oh, very cool. So I had a thousand more printed up, and I'm going to give them to all the vendors to give away. I'll put them on everybody's booth so they can give them away. 
Oh, very, very cool, Caesar. Very cool. Cool, cool. Yeah, save me one of those. I definitely want to have one of those. Yep. Sounds cool. Very, Are they the same cool. as the first batch? Yes. Nice. Yep, we made 5,000 the first time, and we gave them all away. Um, well, I've got this, a few. They're awesome. Yeah, so this time we're going to make uh, – I only made 1,000 this time, and, you know, like I said, I'll put 100 on each vendor's table, and they can give them away, do what they want with them, and – you know, just you got to play for forty. You know, TM forty, all that stuff. Right. Well, you're you're gonna still you're you're, you're gonna have a booth there, right? No, so, no, no, I'm not gonna have a booth. Uh, Infamous is gonna be carrying the product. Okay. Uh, Ali remembers is gonna be carrying the product, and I'm just going there to, you know, be part of the venue. It's you know to support you know the whole TM forty thing, and uh, obviously right. hang out with all the teams. I mean, you know, support my teams because I'll be you know there. You know, got the Master Blasters. I got, you know, Ground Zero Gold. I got, team, you know, Team Smoke going to be there. GZ Red's going to be there. I mean, I got to be there just to support the teams as, as much as I can. Oh, that's very, very cool. And and Joshua, you're going there also, right? Count on it. Absolutely. And, and I, I'm pretty sure I know who you're going to represent. I'm just, I'm looking forward to seeing everyone, looking forward to working there, taking pictures, documenting the event. And obviously representing Balkan, but you know, most importantly, just being there to support the event and to to honor his memory. Yeah, Balkan's got some new things coming up here, don't they? We do. We've got a lot of neat stuff going on. We always we always try to stay busy. But uh, what about the new site? Well, that's that's the newest and most interesting part of it. Is is our new Paintball Uncensored app has released and has has, has really started off very successfully. We're actually very excited about it. Very proud of it. Um, it's something that uh, that Mr. Gino and Balkan. Uh, invested his time and his money into it to give to paintball to give paintball a place to come together and enjoy one another's company in a social media environment without having to worry about big tech uh you know shadow banning you or shutting you down for saying the word gun or paintball gun or you know or any of those threats because some algorithm thinks it might be something that they don't want to deal with um and it's it's actually gotten off to a great start we've got some great brands that are a part of it and there's room for everybody you know, there's there's no politics. There's no, you know, you have to be part of this brand or sell this product or anything like that. Um, it's a beautiful thing. It's exciting. I invite everybody to jump on board. How does it work? It's actually really simple. If you've got an Apple phone, you just go to the, you know, just just it's it, it's an app like any other. Just just go to the iTunes store and and just search Paintball Uncensored. And you know, the the same on Google Play. See there there you go. Steve got it ready. Um, and just and, and and download it. Bada bing, bada boom. You've you've got you've got PayPal uncensored on your phone. Just just log in, set up your account, just like any other social media app, and uh, and start posting. You know, there's there's forums in there for all the different brands that that are with us and supporting us. Uh, different regions of the country, uh, Canada as well. Um, directories for uh, places to play for paintball fields, um, upcoming events. So if you want to, you know, you want to plan your time off for the next coming year, hop on PayPal uncensored and figure out what big events are coming up. And knock it all out at once. Um, we aim to just give paintball a place to come together without the fear of oh my account might get banned or this post might get deleted. Um, come and, and come and enjoy you know paintball and do it without fear of censorship. It's paintball oh, and censored. Come join uh, us. That's pretty cool. So, but you will be there representing Velkin. Velkin's going to have oh, a, a booth and everything. Um, what you know, what the company decided to do with the event, I'm not 100 percent sure. When when I hit the ground at an event, it's with a camera in my hand. So Got I'm going to be there shooting pictures of everybody and really just seeing everybody that, you know, that we didn't get to see last year and, and, you know, just celebrating, celebrating Tim and the legacy that he's left for us. Very cool. I know Steve's going to go live there. Uh, well, yeah, he's there. Awesome. Maybe, I think it's going to be Yeah. Maybe you could go live too through, uh, through flagpole. We'll come up with something. Joshua. We'll just make it up as we go. Yeah. Who can? Joshua. Sir. You have, yeah. he has to, he has to give you, you, you have oh, to no, give no. him administrators to go live. I can go live on flagpole if you want me to. Oh, well, we can do that too. Yeah, we'll oh, I can. Either way, fun. because I can pull it up here and and he can walk around and talk to everybody also. But yeah, we can do it both ways, Steve. All right. Well, I will be at the paintball media booth a majority of the weekend. I'll also be spending a lot of time at the Alley Remembered Foundation. I have a couple people with unlimited bandwidth on their cell phones that says I can hotspot. So. As I'm at booths and working, I'm going to be seeing a lot of people. But on Friday, I am going to be playing five man with this beauty. And then after that, I'm going to be handing this to Caesar and he's taking it to uh, boom treat this. 
That's going to rip. Yes, Apparently on the line is. behind that now. <laughs> Pardon? It, his, he says you're behind him. Yeah, there, there's already a line. Eh? There's you know, already a line. In the green room, near the green room, everybody was talking about, well, can you do mine first? Can you do mine first? <laughs> it was worth a shot. Yeah, I know. It, that, that's how I got it. You know, I mean, he did mine. I've got mine over here. Matter of fact, I can tell because it's got ultra silk stickers everywhere on it. So um, I don't know who did that. But go ahead no and play this one for you, Caesar. Yeah, that yeah. one's gonna be a nice one. Mm. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. I love you before all there. Kevin, should, do I even bother asking you? For what? Again? <laughs> what? What? What do you want to ask me now? Where's your gun? Oh, yeah. He, he wants you to all get I'll, I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you this weekend. Yes. I'll give you Thank one you. of them this weekend. See, that's you know, I, I, would, I, I would let you do all the guys' guns first. No, that's fine with me. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, sure I, I got to say I, you know, I talk to people about it out here all the time. It just absolutely amazes me the difference. I tell you, my guys, my, the guys that had it done love it. I, it's amazing. Okay. It really we got is. about a half a dozen of them, I think, that are done so far. But yeah, you know, we've been busy. We've been girls, playing too. a lot of tournaments, so it's 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 been a tough season for us so far. Did you guys yeah. just get done playing one in, in Maryland or something? Massachusetts. That's what I said. Massachusetts? Two weeks ago, we were, yeah, we were in Massachusetts. <laughs> the week before that or whatever, two, three weeks, four weeks ago. The NXL 10 man, you know, we've been busy. We've been very busy. This is the first wow. weekend we've had off since probably April, if you include the Woods Ball World Cup and all the work leading up to that. Wow. Yeah, it was quite a bit. Yeah, they've got an uh, NXL is coming out here next month. Um, I guess it's like a five man or something like that up in Sacramento. And I got a team that, that wants me to play with them, but I, got, I guess you have to go get a card or something to play. Yep. Yeah, you got to get. You got to yeah, pay for ID. Yeah, that's what I heard. Yeah, it, I, prevents I gotta, from, it prevents people from sandbagging. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah sure. I got to call. <laughs> yeah, I got to call in to Tommy about that. Maybe you'll uh, get yeah. an AARP discount thingy. For, hey, uh, right. you know, that's a thought, too. Yeah. Hey, I'm if gonna... you don't need ID to vote, you sure as hell don't need ID to play paintball. I like what this guy <laughs> said. <so>. Yeah. <laughs> well, there you know, we so, go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There, yeah, it's uh, well, I won't go there, but uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe in a couple of months we'll go there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, and for that That's... reason, we are out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, gotta love it. So, anyhow, you know, Tim started this uh, how many years ago? Who, who was at the very first one? You know, I was any a of you guys. Yeah, I didn't make the first. no, I didn't make the first one. Just Kevin out of the, all of us. Yeah, Kevin. Yeah, Kevin. I was, uh, yeah, it was. It was. You know, when Tim called me and he told me he was going to do this event, he didn't think he was going to get any interest. You know, so I immediately, when he called me, I told him, "Count on us. We'll be there. No question." He supported me with the Woods Bowl World Cup twice before he did this. You know, so I owed right. it to him. I said, "No matter what you're doing, you can count on the Blasters to be there." Right. We've been right. there ever since. Okay, so they didn't they didn't have the the amount of teams that they have this year when they first started them. Well, the first year we capped it at eighteen, and he he didn't think he'd get eighteen. Really? But the event was just so good. It was just such a good time, you know that it just uh, yeah. it just exploded after that. You see how many teams they got this year? Seventy two, ten man, and what did you got? Fifty or something? Five man? Yeah, it, it's it's unbelievable it's amount. You yeah. know what it sells this, out in two minutes. That's you know what yes. this sells out you know what in this, two minutes. Okay, but you know what Nuts. this reminds me of? The amateur open on steroids. Yeah. 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 I mean, look, I, I tell everybody it's the Woodstock of paintball, and it really is. It's, oh, yeah. It, now, the it, amateur it, open, just, I would have the first ones of those. So that I can see. Yeah, I played the first one of that, those two. Yeah, but then yeah. when they didn't allow pros anymore, we couldn't play anymore. Yeah. I actually didn't play. I, I went there and hung out with the teams and stuff. And then I did the, um, for Debbie, I did the Miss Paintball thing for a few years. Right. Well, Wait, you remember you the Miss first Paintball? damn open. What's the that? first damn opens, you were allowed to have two pros on a team. Yep. That's right. And then she yeah. stopped that. Yeah, they shut that down. I, they shut that down after the first year, I think. They only yeah, did that the first year. year or the second year. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember. Didn't last long. What were you saying, Steve? You just said you were Miss Paintball? No, I I actually hosted it. 
Oh, nah, you my, posted it. Yeah, oh, nah, I took nah, that my, my completely different way. My legs weren't good enough, man. You know, no, yeah, I, I, rolled my, I rolled my pants up. They told me they seen better legs on the piano. So that was it. It embarrassed me. I rolled them back down. It was over with. So, but you know, it, it is what it is. <laughs> so, but yeah, it, the amateur open is pretty good. But you know, that, that's why I wanted to push the the ICC this coming weekend. You know, the teams are all sold out. So we're not talking to people, you know, to go play now because it, it's just full. But you know what I really wanted to push was I wanted to push people that have a chance to go out and actually see the teams play. You know, people that don't play paintball, go see how much fun it really, really is. Hopefully, we can draw more people into the sport from stuff like this. Because just like your Woodsfall thing, uh, you know, Kevin, you did that. And, you know, next year, it's just going to be, it's going to be full, believe me. Without yeah. a doubt. We've got a lot of excitement. The thing about the ICC is that, it is one of those events that you go to that you don't have to play. Yeah. You know, I mean, it, it's such a good time just hanging and, and talking to everybody. You know, it, it's worth going just for that. You know, it's one of those events where you can just bullshit with somebody every minute of the event. You know, there's there, there's just so much going on off the field. You can't yeah, swing it's a really dead chair a great event a off the field. Uh, you got so you can't without hitting a what? <laughs> can't swing a dead cat huh? without having a conversation with somebody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah, really yeah. excited because I'm going to get a chance to finally meet Rich Telford in person and Nikki Cuba. Apparently, like, those are a couple of my heroes from way, way back. And yeah, of all luck. the heroes that so I've that wanted Rich to Telford meet, I've met most paintball. of them. I got what Rich was that? Telford, I, said, I got Rich Telford going to paintball. He, play, he played on my team. I was... I brought him in to be a pro. Yes. For, for the first couple of years. Yeah. He's, uh, I don't, there's three people, you know, I, I love a million people in this sport, but there's three people that are really special to me. And, and Rich is one, Mark Gong is the other, and Michael Barrett is the third one. You know, those three guys, uh, we go back in the day and, uh, they're just special guys. They really, really are. But yeah, Rich is a good guy. Um, you know what I mean? He, he looks like, uh, Mountain Mike now. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> his beard and his, everything like that. He cracked me up last time I seen him. So, but yeah, I used to just love reading person. his articles. Like, I mean, not only was not only was one of the Iron Men and the uh, the lead one of the leading forces behind Excessive, but he used to he used to write a lot for the magazines, and his articles were always so on point. And he would take it, he would take what he would say just a little bit past where most people were comfortable with. And still be honest without really being obnoxious. And I, I, I think he's one of the greatest people that paintball forgets. My personal opinion. Oh, I never forget him. He's uh, like I say. He, oh, nobody. Well, you him. wouldn't, but the world. Yeah. He played. He played on Council Pursuit for like two, three years. You know, he was. Uh, he's just a good kid. He really, really is. You know, and now he's an old guy, and I still call him a kid. That really sucks for me. I got to tell you, but you know. <laughs> It, it is what it is. Uh, um, but uh, anyhow, Josh, I'm going to jump back up to you real quick. Now, Jeep! <laughs> you you got to tell me what Jeep means. It means exactly what it sounds like. Oh, so means, he. So what he's doing then is changing, it means two headlights and changing the S to J? No, it's... Uh. Oh, C we'll, go, to J. we'll go through the whole thing. You know, Ten years in a body shop banging, on, banging the dents out of Jeeps and painting them. Oh, um, gotcha, and gotcha, complaining yeah. about it the entire time. Before you know it, you start getting jerseys in the mail from companies that say Jeep on the front of them, and <laughs> and before you know it, the name sticks. And I've been called worse, Jeep. so I I decided to just roll with the punches. I know you love Jeeps too. Ugh, they're they're uh they're a labor of love. Yeah, uh, you should see Bud's. You know, Bud's got a, a great motorhome, and that's what he drags around. He's got, what kind of Jeep is that, Bill? That he's got. I have no clue. It's the big one. I think it's the yeah. Rubicon or something like that. Yeah. 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 yeah it is. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, you know, cause, you know, Bud, he's, uh, he's a rock climber. He, he loves yeah. that kind of stuff, man. He's, he's, man, he's watching us right now, as a matter of fact. Bud's he's, awesome. He's, he's, yeah. got, he's got a picture where there's just a cable pulling the Jeep up a waterfall. It's not even touching the walls of anything. There's no wheels on nothing. It's, being towed up a waterfall. Why? Well, how else was he going to get up there? Why not? Why? Yeah, <laughs> that's what they do. Yeah. 
Oh, so it's <laughs> like so he does so so Bud now does like off roading type stuff. He's always, oh, he always did. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I know he raced the trucks and stuff, but I didn't know he was doing. He's raced trucks, boats. I think yeah. he still has world records for Pikes Peak, you know, racing, and I, I, I'm pretty sure he still has a, uh, you know, water uh, speed limit. You know. Yeah, for record. boats. Yeah, for boats. So. Yeah, yeah, because Tim was big in the boats. Uh, you know, yeah. Tim Schloss. Yeah. And, and so did my dad. My dad had uh, two state championships in Wisconsin for boat racing, hydroplane. Yeah. Tim, Tim actually, uh, he he was uh, following the racing circuit on uh, the the minis, and then like the mi the miniature minis. Yep. Yep. And he actually got to uh, play more paintball on the sides of those uh, race cars. So yep. he's given, he's given everybody across the nation free paintball advertisements. So. Yeah, he yeah. absolutely is. Yeah, he wanted me to come out there. They're doing a thing. I believe it's the 11th and 12th and 12th and 13th of uh, August next month here. And uh, actually, they're going to do it right in the middle of the uh, speedway in Indiana. Nice. So, um, yeah, it, that should be pretty cool. I was going to go mm -hmm. out there. Sherry and I were going to go out there. But I, I'm going to go up and do this tournament at the NXL. I don't know if I want to get into the database and, and get my card or anything like that. It's but, easy. Uh, oh, I'm going to see. He might just let me play. You know? It's like 50 bucks. It's a separate company. I mean, it's not the money. You know, it's, it's not, not the money. It's, it's you know, giving it's everybody my NXL. information. It's not the NXL. It's a different company. It's yeah, I know, but, company. They, but they run the NXL and all the other ones. So too, you know, they, they keep a database for absolutely everybody. And I really don't like anybody. You know, I, I'm very seclusive of who I give my information to. You know, once you give it to that, then everybody and their brother's going to have it, you know? All right, well, then you don't give it to them. I'll give it to them for you. Oh, yeah, yeah I appreciate oh, that, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you ripped his shirt off here. Yeah, but the minute he tries to put Born on, it's going to break the system anyway. That's true, too. That's true, too. Like, you know? okay. Yeah. But reverse. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Doesn't go that low. <laughs> I, you know, I actually lie about that anyhow. I tell everybody, I go, yeah, I had my 39th birthday 41 times already. So, you know, <laughs> yeah, it, it's bigger, Steve. It's 39. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Josh is up there trying to figure it out. Much grown up I'll talk. get back to you. <laughs> <laughs> right on, man. So, Have anyhow, you ever noticed you know, that a Jeep grill looks like an abacus? Ugh. Oh, no. Well, that's, really? that's what you need to calculate the payments. Yeah. <laughs> and what it costs to fix them when you bounce them off a rock. Or there you go. You run yeah, on the highway not 70 miles an hour and the wheel starts to shimmy. <laughs> yeah. You know, I actually had one. I was driving down the road and the axle actually snapped off. The whole axle Ooh. pulled out. So, it's more common than you think. <laughs> the rear, is it really? It's a rear <laughs> axle. You know? Uh, you know, things things happen, man. They're they're designed to do a certain thing, and they do that certain thing really well. It's the everything else we ask it to do: go to the mall, get groceries, drive on the highway. Yeah, that's I where was, the system starts to get a little. Uh, you know, you can't keep it between the lines. Literally, I, I was never real easy on any of my vehicles, anyhow. So that's just how it is. So anyhow, um, the tournament coming up this weekend. I, I believe the five man now is on Friday. Kevin, you got right. you got guys in the five man. Yeah, I do. I got a I got a team in the five man. Okay, and then you okay. and What's Sunday? right? I'm sorry. What's that? You cut out I, for a minute. Oh did it really? Wow. Yeah. Um the the ten man is it's Saturday and Sunday? Saturday and Sunday is ten man. Okay, so the ten man Saturday's the prelims and then Sunday mm -hmm. the playoffs? Yeah, you have a couple prelim. We have a couple. I don't know how everybody's schedule is, but we have two prelim games on Sunday morning. Ooh, oh, you do? Early ones. Yeah. We have okay. six Saturday and two Sunday morning. You know you know what I like about the format for that, though? You know, it's the same thing you did for Woods Ball, Kev, is, you know, you go there, everybody plays. Everybody. You know, you don't have this division here and this division there. You know, you you get in. And whatever you draw is what you draw, and that's get what you get. Ah. Yeah. Open class. That's how it should open be. Open class. Well, it's called paintball. You show up and see who the man is, and let's you know or who the woman is, and, that, and whatever the case may be. Absolutely and you know, right. let's let's see who takes home the trophy. Yep. And you if know, you finish twenty, if you finish twenty fourth, you're twenty fourth, right? Yeah. Out of seventy two. Well, hey, Unlike good, you know the NXL where you know you finish one in D three and you're one hundred and fifty fourth. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, you know, we finished third. The band finished third at Woods Hole. I, I tell everybody that, and they're like, wow. Yeah, okay. you know, but I, I don't tell them it was third from the last. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's not but, last. But you were it's there, not. Fred. <laughs> but you were there. I, and loving it, too, believe me. We had a good time. Oh, that's not even a word for it, Kevin. Uh, that's not even a word for it. Matter of fact, you know, Kathy put together the Belfry team, the women's team. You know, they're coming out there next year now. So, you know, yeah, I, I well, she, she she called me and told me she might have two teams. That's yeah, because yeah. they got 24 people right now. 24 I, girls, 24 yeah, women, I should say. Yeah, yep, I was I was with her on Sunday at that tournament, and that's where she goes. She introduced me to some of the other girls uh, that are coming. She goes, yeah, I've got 24 of them now. And I go, well, you know, I said, you get too many more, you're going to want to put two teams in. And, you know, so yeah. that's kind of like gotta the band, you have too. enough alternates, though. And it's so far ahead, people are going to drop off. So I'd be mm. careful about two teams when you only have 24 players, right. especially when they're international. More. Like, she's yeah. got people in England and the whole bit. Yeah, but that's why I said more people. That's why, you know, 24 is not enough. you got 30 people, you could swing something like that. That's not a problem. Kevin, you capping it? Yeah, at 40. You're at 39 already. Yeah, pretty close. Pretty close. Now, I think I'm at like 21. Yeah. Oh, well, you know what? I've deposited so far. We're a year away. I tried to send my deposit in, and you wouldn't even take it from me. He laughed. <laughs> yeah. He's still laughing at me, Bill. Listen, what? Listen, listen, look, listen. if you tell me you're coming, you're coming. <laughs> Right? Oh, you. Oh, How absolutely. long do we know each other, Fred? Absolutely. You think I need a deposit from you? Come on. Yeah, I would, sure, Fred, I would not miss that a, one. Fred, if you do send in a deposit, make sure you send it to the right email address. Yeah, right. Don't be like Bill. <laughs> hey, that was to, oh, oh, see, some Bill other never, Jerry Braun. Bill never told us anything about that. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. at gmail.com. Oh, we freaking out. <laughs> Yeah, was, I told you you were covered no matter what happened. So well, I know, but it was just the thought of, of Jerry not getting money, though. That that's what. Was yeah, missing. but you know, I told you, you know, you were fine. If you didn't yeah. get that money back, fuck it. I wouldn't have even asked yeah. you for it. There, there is a whole <laughs> other Jerry Braun at what, whatever, whatever, and it goes to California. Yeah, there's some really? of his exact information, except for the the end part was just New York. Way. Yeah, except was, for the New York. Except for the New York. Wow. And, and Just I thought there might be two Jerry Browns out there running there around. The whole oh, time. Yeah, I did that. The, the money was sitting there, and then uh, finally I just I, I messaged, and I, and I got the refund from it, luckily. It, it sat there for like oh, two thank weeks. God. That's crazy. No one knew. No one knew. And I kept saying, you know. I wouldn't have told nobody money. either. Like, no, we ain't going to worry. I was like, what? It, it's impossible. You know? I wasn't, wasn't worried about it for a second. Yep. Oh, Not man. Me. But yeah. you know, just frustrating. You were more stressed about it than I was. Hell yeah. <laughs> well, I'm laying it. I'm laying it. Money back, then fuck it. I don't care. I would take. Yeah. I yeah, I'm laying it. Do it. Twice. I'm laying it. Do the woods ball next year. That that like I say, that's one of the five best times I've ever had in paintball, and and it was the people there. You know, just like the hellhounds. I had the hellhounds on the show. You know that, right? Kevin? Yeah, I saw. Yeah, I watched. Yeah, I watched. what a great bunch you guys say were, man. I yeah, got to say how much I got to reference. I love this guy. Yeah, I saw him. <laughs> yeah, I love oh, you, oh, Kevin. He's very, so much. Oh, oh, he's not an excitable guy. Ask his girl. Yeah, she, she told me that too. You know, she goes, "No, it's a million dollars." She goes, "Oh, great, Kevin." Actually, yeah. it's, yeah. it's the the thing that I love about Kevin is is you can actually see the heads, the wheels spinning. He's like, "Yeah, I saw him," and you know that there's about. <laughs> A billion more things he wants to say, and he's just not saying anything. He's actually being reserved. I love this guy so much. <laughs> hey. <laughs> right on. Hey, George Contreras just jumped in, too. He said, better late than never. Right on, George. Glad to have you on. George watches like every week. He's one of the good guys, man. Very, very cool. I, I don't know if he's got his gun Caesarized, though, man. You know? I am. I tell everybody out, that, out here about that, too. Hey, I just... Uh, it's wicked. It, it is. It's just, it's amazing is what it is, you know. At, at first, you know, it's not like he spits in it and then drives it out and sends it out. Man. I don't oh, know what that, that stuff is, but it's incredible. The spit, it, that's a DNA test. That's not cheap. Oh. So, well, yeah. get with me after this. We'll talk about it. There you I'm go. Yeah. Sure I you will... guys all like Caesar dressing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Definitely you guys like Caesar dressing. I'm glad you didn't call the product that. I, I, I'll be honest no. with you. I, I well, the marketing would have wrote itself. I, I like Caesar I dressing a lot more than Caesar undressing. <laughs> that gives no, that gives cool. my uh, ultra Caesar shocker dressing. a whole new meaning. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> man, that was so funny. Hey, Kevin got me a golf cart when I was out there, man. I love you for that too, Kevin. And anyhow, we're driving the golf cart down uh, down the road, and all of a sudden, this SUV pulls up alongside me, and someone ruined me. <laughs> yeah, I was looking for a stick so bad, but I couldn't. You've been Caesarized. Yeah, I've been Caesarized. <laughs> hey, you know, Caesar, you did a lot of commercial. We did did a lot of commercials for you out there. Yeah, uh, I, I seen I seen part of them. Man, you should be throwing some of that stuff back out there again. Oh, I try cool to guys. I throw it Still. out. I throw it out. I throw it he out. He does. He takes care of us. Caesar took care of us, so I'm going to take the care outtake. of him. What's that? When, when's the outtake reel going to hit? Yeah. He's, he's working on it now. It's just it, when it comes together, it's not like looking like it was that day. It just, <laughs> I mean. You, you, know, you know what sucked, though, Caesar, is we needed a camera facing the other way, too. Correct. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's, that's what where, that, the, That's where the action was. The yeah. whole outtakes, like, there's, it's out of context. It's just, it doesn't even, like, give it any rhyme or reason. If you didn't see the faces of everybody else, yep. it, it just doesn't, you know, it's cool that you get to see people crossing the camera and, you know, everybody laughing, but it just, it's, it's the inbound is what we needed. All, all the action was, were, yeah, that's right, was behind the camera. And, you know, and you can attribute that to, to Tim Schloss and to Bodor and, uh, yeah. I was, the, I was really trying to have a conversation with every individual about the product and their experience with, you know, the different guns that I've done for them. Yeah. And I don't know who started it. Um, it absolutely couldn't have been me. I think it was Tim Schloss, but no names. And. All I saw was pants unzipping, and I was like, "Oh no!" Yeah, and you know, I, I I tried to keep a I tried to keep a straight pace. You did pretty good, man, and yeah. and and I had it going on too. Just I, I that was just a sight, you know. And you know, what's really funny is I didn't eat for two days after that. Oh, well, <laughs> no, the good one was when Tim was trying to be all serious. <laughs> I have to interrupt for a second. Kathy Alvarez is bringing me food at ICC. Oh, is she? Look, she, she made a comment. Says, She's Steve, coming to ICC? I don't know, but apparently I've got I've got food incoming. Funny Delivered, Bones and so having something delivered. I don't think she's coming to ICC. No, she not, no, she's not coming, but it's Funny Bones and something, some other stuff. Oh, oh yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Good luck, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it, bring it, bring a big napkin. You guys, you guys were teasing me earlier, by the way. Speaking Never. of food, about Never. constantly, but anyway, um, about uh, putting biscuits and gravy in my uh, luggage. The truth of the matter is, I don't actually bring biscuits and gravy back. What I actually bring back is uncrustables, because my I told my son about it. He's like, "Oh, you dad, you've got to bring me some uncrustables." So I did, um, and I brought back a box or two, and I got it back. And his sister got into them because they were the Nutella ones and she annihilated Plus, all his Uncrustables. So good. I, so what was that, Kev? So you're I blaming said it on her sister. Good. Yeah, right? The and so, so yeah. one of the one of the, the two things that I tend to bring back food-wise is I try to bring back Uncrustables for my son um, and myself because, let's be honest, they're awesome and you can't get those in Canada. And the other thing I try to bring back is um, screwball peanut butter whiskey. I know how nasty that tastes, but holy crap, it's good. I don't drink, like I barely drink anything, but that stuff is just wicked. That's so if you haven't tried it, pardon? I see you don't drink because you're full of crustables. No, uncrustables. Uncrustables, and then blame it on the kids for eating them all. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> they weren't even at my house. They were oh. over at his mom's house. Oh, okay. You okay. guys, you, Steve, you're talking about Nutella, right? Sure. We're, no, you didn't. You just say Nutella crustable. Yeah, but I didn't say it with that sexy Italian voice. Mm. So let me tell you guys a story. Oh, wait grew, a minute. <laughs> I grew up. I grew up with Nutella. So I used to take Nutella sandwiches <laughs> to school, 
And all the kids would look at me like, what are you eating? I go, it's Nutella. And they're like, what is that? I go, it's chocolate on a sandwich. You're like, that's awful. You're having chocolate for lunch? (laughs) And I'm talking about four and five years old. I was taking Nutella sandwiches just to school. Make them say it more. You could, no, it's Nutella yeah. on both sides, and then yeah. you just eat it. And then, and then later on is when I started adding peanut butter to it, and then I'd have Nutella on one side and peanut butter on the other side. So you're so you lucky like you a Reese cup. But... Yeah, you're lucky you had a sandwich. Jeez, you know, back in back in the day when I was young, man, all I, every night I go, "Hey, mom, what are we having for dinner?" She go, "Leftovers." I could never figure out where it originally came from. How could it be a leftover if I never ate the damn thing before? You know. I mean, but realistically, in you know, again, Italian homes, we always have Nutella in you know the jars here like this, and in the Costco by us, you can buy a two pack of Nutella for like eleven bucks. You know, yeah. two yep. two of the, and you know, we go dip pretzels into it and everything, and uh. it's, I mean, to us, it's just a thing that we always had, and for everybody around here. You know, it's like, oh, my God, it's a godsend. It's just, you know, but when Nutella, I was, Nutella is amazing. Yeah. When I was a kid under 10, because I moved, I had a friend, uh, last name Petrella, and his mom used to always make those um, waffle cookies, the Italian waffle cookies. And so that would be the treat that we'd get. We'd get these Italian pressed waffle cookies with Nutella on them. And Are you talking about the Pizzelli? I have no idea, but it sounds sexy when you say it. I'm just saying. Keep him, keep him talking for the little You, you, you can lay off the sexy stuff, Steve. It's we'll like the French. Why do they make everything so hard? Why do they call it a croissant? It's a bun for crying out loud. Like, it sounds so like one of Ramsey's guests. Yeah, obviously exactly. it doesn't take candy to get him in the car. <laughs> it sounds like Joe. Just, just say it sexy, and he's in. <laughs> it sounds like hey, Joe you, uh, Chef Ramsey, master. Yeah, there you go. Hey, real quick, uh, uh, Dave Ruddick, Tim Schloss, and Chip Kurtz just said hello. They're all sitting there watching us right now. Hey, okay, guys. here we go. Chippy, yep. what's happening? <laughs> Three of the band members. Yeah, right on. Hey, Joe's. Yeah, we got we got uh, what five of the band members on here too, huh? Any chance that Tim Schloss is going to be at ICC? Uh, no, but he is going to be. Oh. You should come down to Monte Casino. I yeah, won't it's also be. Also, going to be a happening. I don't know if I'll be able to make that. A money, but B. If I leave the country, I come back. I can't get retested for two weeks. So I'm going. I'm coming down to the states for ICC. I'm coming back Monday, and then in two weeks, I'm flying to Denver to go to the uh, the big autism game at Dynamic Paintball uh, outside Colorado, outside Aurora, Colorado. Right. And then I'm staying there for a week. And then after that, I'm going to be going on a road trip through the Rocky Mountains with uh, the Punisher's Law Enforcement Motorcycle Club. And they're going to be doing a charity drive for domestic violence right. um, awareness. And I'm yeah, going to be in one of the chase. Bit- yeah, I'm going to be in one of the chase vehicles for that. So by the time that's done, I don't know if I'm going to be able to come back and then somehow find my way to Monte Casino and be allowed to leave the country because I'm allowed to leave now, but I'm only allowed to leave like once every two weeks. And I have to have like a two week period for tests. Well, this is, stuff. this is the middle of September. Hey, here's Tim Schloss real quick, guys. Uh Oh, you can believe it. But I just hung up on him. Ah! That's the best thing about Tim Schloss and being on this oh. show is he always calls yeah. you right after the show. What's going on, Timmy? Hey, I just want to the next time anybody's going to see me is going to be at Monte Casino. Yeah. We were, we were just talking about how we've seen you in New York. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was, a, that was a ghost. That wasn't me. Yeah, yeah, that was your twin. <laughs> yeah, no, I got a twin out there. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think of this group tonight, buddy? I think this is a great group. I think you guys need to have this one every week. Yeah. God, these guys are... <laughs> These guys are pretty funny, man. I think so. Hey, how, how'd your dinner go with all that spam and everything that Davey was doing? I'm telling you, man. No, I've never had spam before. I guess it is a delicacy. It really it's pretty damn good. Awesome. <laughs> he had it's real chili. Chili. The beer wasn't very good, but the spam was pretty good, and the potato chips he found were really good. <laughs> oh, salt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Reading salt. That's it. 
Yeah, yeah. this beautiful part of the world. We're having a good time, and we're sitting here watching. We got the we got the phone on the uh, on the dining room table while we're eating, watching and laughing. And just uh, I had to I had to go and say hi. Well, we appreciate it, but yeah, Bud Orr's watching. Uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. You guys watching? Yeah, uh, you guys are sitting there wolfing down spam and watching us. Man, I'm what a you, man. special I'm a, night! I'm a, I'm a spam guy now. Yeah. <laughs> He can yeah, joke gonna, all he gotta, wants. Gotta, Finally, gotta, something I can afford. For the, for the band, man, I'm telling you, Chip's an unbelievable cook. So we got we got him and Tom Gee, and oh man, we it, got uh, we got Bailey, man. And I tell you what, we're all gonna get fat. I hey, I, I gained about five pounds in New York. Oh my God! Probably because I didn't run anywhere, but you know. <laughs> You got with your wrist from signing all them autographs. <laughs> I did. There was a couple of them, huh, buddy? Oh my god! <laughs> hey, look, I'll let you get back to it. I just don't hey. have to go and say hi. Hey, I got a quick question for you. Um, now I know that you're you got your studio and everything all set up. When the hell are you going to be on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's a question. Well, well, you're busting my balls, man. I'm sitting there trying to be nice. You know, you don't want to ruin your show. You got all those. You got all those GQ looking guys on there tonight, you know, and then you put me on there, you don't scare your audience off. Well, put Terry on then. Yeah, yeah, that's what I ought to do. Yeah, tell, tell, tell Tim, tell Tim. Yeah, yeah. Buddy, tell Tim that Jerry's breaking my balls right, because he's not I'll on Facebook. Good seeing you guys. Oh, hey. Hey, hey, Kevin said to tell you that Jerry's uh, busting his balls because you're not on Facebook. Hey, you know. What am I supposed to say? I mean, I'm just technologically impaired. You know? <laughs> I'm a fossil. No, right just, on, buddy. I'm Sunday. sorry. If the guy above me can do it, there you go. He can call me. I'll help. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Make up a fake page. Use a fake right, page. Tell everybody I said hi. And you stay safe, buddy. I'll do it. Hey, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Yeah. Where do you go? Where's the cup? Hold it. Hold it. Oh, you're gonna put the cook on? Hey guys! Hey! Great time here watching you. Hey, what's oh, going on, Chip? Chippy! Dave. Oh, Dave! Oh, hey. wow, you sound oh, like hey, Chip. Dave! Oh my gosh! Chip is cooking. Oh, I thought you were cooking. I thought Chip yeah. cooked last time. Why isn't Terry uh, cooking? Oh. We're having way too much fun here. Oh, I bet you are, man. Yeah, hey, yeah, I, you know, Tim said that first Chip was a good cook. Now he said you're a good cook. Man, we, you, got, you guys are just getting to him through food. It's amazing. For me, it's easy, man. I'm just burning steak. <laughs> How's the weather there right now? Pretty good? No, it's boring. Is it really? Yeah. Yeah. But we had a, it was gorgeous all afternoon. Can you believe it? We were out a bunch of old guys. We were out in the Mississippi River swimming around. Oh, I bet that. Oh, did, did you film it? Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> you got pictures. No. <laughs> hey, Billy said he's got pictures, so we're going to put them out yeah. as soon as we're done talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bill. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good night, guys. All right, Dave. Tell Tony I said hi. Chip? Chip, Chip doesn't want to talk to you, but I'm going to force him to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was Mr. Dave Ruddick, Paintball Dave, back in the day. And I. Your back in the day was like 1874. This has got to be Chip, because Diane, his wife, is always nice to me. How you doing, I'm, Chip? I'm doing terrific. We just relived uh, all your uh, heroic moments all over the world. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've had a few of them, huh? You have. You know, you've been, you're a legend. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're killing me, Chip. No, no. No, we're just saying uh, how we, uh, you know, we couldn't buy all those stories that we've received over the years for any kind of money we could ever possibly have. Yeah. I mean, the, the times we've had with all the guys and stuff has just been fabulous. Yeah, but like that, you're talking about the time that I pulled the flag and my gun was all apart and you were keeping everybody off me while I was trying to run the flag back. Yeah, and yeah, I had yeah, four pieces of gun in my arm. I dropped one and you couldn't hang the flag unless you had all the parts. So I had to run back and yeah. get the other parts of my gun. Yeah. Yeah, that was yeah, you, left, you left me alone in the field again. Yeah. <laughs> you loved it. <laughs> right on, Chipper. We'll, we'll let you get back to your show, buddy. Nice talking to you. All we'll right. see you in, uh, in uh, a couple of weeks then. You bet. I can't wait. Here, bye-bye. You stay safe. Bye-bye. As Mr. Chip Kurtz, everybody. What a group. Boy. They're having some fun, huh? Yeah. Terry just messaged me. She said, there is no spam. Right now, there's... 
right now they're making beef tenderloin, baked potatoes, and a salad. But it will be tomorrow for Tim, though. <laughs> come on, come on. If you believe Tim, give me a break. <laughs> I love Is it guy. wrong that I kind of like fried spam burgers? Yeah. Oh, well, God, you know what? Shit's disgusting. Hey, hey. We all we all promise not to tease you tonight. So yeah. uh, sure it's great, Steve. Was that something yeah. we were supposed to sign? Yeah. <laughs> I, didn't sign uh, I love it. I don't, well, I don't you think know what I've got... ever had spam, period. Oh, I have, and it's horrible. It really is. I had it when I was a kid because I won't get into it. But yeah. food snobs around here. Yeah. It, hey, you you know. open that can and it's got that that three eighths of an inch of shit on top of it. It you does know? too. You got to scrape it off the white stuff. It's yeah. the flavor. Oh my God. It yeah. That's seasoning. Jeez. Yeah. That's, yeah. How you, that's how you grease the pan. Bunch of yeah. snobs. Yeah. I swear to God. <laughs> well, you live up in northern Ontario in the summertime, and there's no actual way to go shopping that for a long, long drive. Spam is in there, and I kind of like it. I got to be well, honest. Let's see. I'm one of the reasons why it still exists. Well, no. you're coming. You're coming from a country with no biscuit and gravy. So yeah, that's I'm true. Understand. Yeah, this yeah. guy. So you know, hey, growing, you ever thought about spam and gravy? Italian house. My Been mom there, made done that. Sure, didn't have any canned stuff. I believe hey, that. Yeah, yeah. My my mother's from Italy, so I grew up in an Italian house too. And let me tell you, after I got out of here, I couldn't eat spaghetti for a long time. Now I love it again, but uh, yeah, it's. Uh, I'm the same way with boiled potatoes. I still can't eat them. Oh, they that's have boiled bread. potatoes up there. Oh, that's pretty cool. I, I like can't that. eat boiled potatoes. I just fresh can't. bread with fried spam. Mayo and a single leaf of lettuce. It's mm. awesome. Just more for us, Bill. Don't worry. No about way, it. man. Yeah, yeah, oh, really. Yeah. Absolutely. You can have mine and Caesar's share. We're we're cooking all right, spam. Then, <laughs> Next time in New York, we're cooking spam. No, right. no spam allowed. Right on. <laughs> Where's <Yeah>. Kevin's bear? <laughs> yeah. It ain't spam. You, you guys I'm tease me and tease me and tease me. We're finally hey, hey, back hey, on. Well, Why is no. the why isn't he teasing me more with it? Where's the Kev bear? Kevin's bear is a special item that we only bring up every yeah. so often. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, black tie. Kind um, of stuff yeah, like because it. because you know, last time he brought it up, look what happened to you and Bill. You guys look silly for forty eight hours. Forty eight hours. Oh, hey, you see that bear? And they you notice how the and, hours and Bill, build? Bill, the hours Bill. keep getting longer and longer yeah, and longer. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I added twelve. Yeah. Okay. Kind of like his ear hairs. Yeah, and, and, and Bill's Bill's like, oh my God, how did he train him? He was right next to him. He, was he oh rushed him? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Kevin, that beer has got so many miles, it's not even funny, man. It was. Yeah, if I, if I had a big enough vehicle, I'd take it to ICC with me, and everybody could get their pictures taken. Oh, I yeah. would kill. That would be awesome. Yeah, yeah what do you, know what you do with that beer, Steve? Yeah. But, uh, anyhow, <laughs> hang it on the grill. You've got room. Like, how awesome would that be rolling down the street? Uh, Master Blaster sticker across the windshield and a giant bear collecting. <laughs> I had him I had him in my minivan at one time, and he just had his head sticking out the sunroof when I was driving. <laughs> it was just so big. The damn thing is huge. Oh, yeah, that was absolutely funny. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. Um, uh -oh. oh, we lost him. Kevin. The bear got him. He's going to get the, <laughs> yeah, so he's going to get the bear, yeah. <laughs> Well, we've kind of run past our time a little bit, anyhow. That's um, because you so, monologue so long. That's that's what it is. Hey, too. Josh, I knew that would was you rather eat spam or the yeah. photo I just sent you. Ooh, well, I, 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 I can't wait to look at it. Yeah, like, I didn't want to look at it right now because I'll start sweating. You know. <laughs> I told you get with me later. Yeah. <laughs> to the show. We're doing oh, the thing right now. We'll get after the show. All right. There you go. And we're back. All right, Caesar. Well, you're going. You're going to the ICC, and I'm. I'm so happy you're going because uh, you know I support uh, Frank and Jennifer Montressor, and I support the, everything that they do now. Uh, and I wish their young guns uh, a lot of uh, a lot of luck when they go there this weekend. So I'm gonna let you say goodbye to everybody, Caesar. You freeze up. Ah, that was a good one. You know what's funny? Every time everybody else freezes up, they're smiling. I freeze up. I'm like, this. I'm like, what the hell? So, no, hey, thanks for having me on. Um, <laughs> oh, you were great, buddy. You always are. You're funny. And uh, listen, give us listen, Ultra Silk. Tell us how listen, people get a hold. 
Yeah, tell us how Listen. people can get a hold of you to uh, do the ultra chill thing. Hey, come sure, come out there, come visit me. Let's talk to everybody. I want to talk to you guys. I'm going to be down there also with Joe and uh, Tony Angelari with, from Lone Wolf. The guys from Lone Wolf, come say hello. I'm definitely doing that. We're gonna, we're gonna be doing some videos down there. We're gonna be doing ultra silk videos. I'll be talking to everybody, especially all the teams, gathering up all the guns that everybody wants, boom treated and Caesarized, obviously. You bringing your truck? Yeah. Are you, <laughs> Caesar, are you are you able to come down to Monte Casino or is that I, too far? I'm I'm I don't know if I'll be able to drive. I could fly in. I mean, I know there's an airport right there. Yeah. So. I'm going to try to do it. I don't see what the schedule is going to be like. Yeah, that'd be cool because, you know, Bud and Dan, a lot of the band are going to be there. No, uh, I, that's, you know, I'd like to do it just to come hang out and stuff like that. So oh, yeah, we love I'm, hanging out with you. So, um, but that's what I said, just, you know, come talk to me. Come see us at, uh, at the ICC and, you know, we'll all shoot the shit and do some live feeds and obviously get onto your guys' live feed and uh, have a guess. That sounds terrific, buddy. Well, thanks enough a lot for coming on tonight, Caesar. Uh, we appreciate right. it very, very much, buddy. I'll see you guys soon. Have a good night. See you, see next, you in a few weekend, weekend, Steve. See you in a few yeah. days. See you guys a couple of days. Yes, sir. All right. It's Mr. Caesar Pizzol from Ultra Silk. Uh, everybody out there, if you guys haven't tried the Ultra Silk, get a hold of this guy. You know, it, there's going to be a lot of you guys that are going to be at the ICC this weekend. Go over and talk to Caesar. Uh, talk to him about his product because I got to tell you, yeah, I got it right here. I got the boom treatment. I got I got the whole nine yards. It's all right here. And that stuff rocks. And and you know, and Caesar's a piece of work. You're gonna like talking to him too. You know, I mean, since he's come out of his shell, he's been pretty damn funny, huh, Bill? Get him to say Nutella again. Oh, he, he, oh that's gonna be God. my whole weekend. What are you Oh my about? gosh. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Drive up there just for that. Yeah, yeah. yeah not, hey, now you're gonna go to bed with a picture of Caesar on the not forget. It. Anyhow, uh, how's that Steve. different from any other night? God, <laughs> You know what? I got to tell you, Josh, you're fitting right in. <laughs> I like that. Jeep. You come on here and you insult the guy. <laughs> no, um, <laughs> we'll talk about the Jeeps later. There you go. All right, Josh. I'm Jeep gonna... business anymore. Sir. Uh, okay. Um, give us one more shot for the, the Belkin uh, website, and uh, we'll let you well, say just... goodbye. Well, I'm really excited about the ICC. It's just a wonderful opportunity for all of us to see each other be in each other's presence again after all the craziness in this country and the world and, you know, celebrate Tim's memory and, and enjoy, you know, something that brought a lot of love back into paintball for a lot of people, you know, the 10 man format, the mechanical format, the woods, the hyperball, the mounds at an amazing field. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, obviously everything that we do at Balkan, we work hard, we care, we play, we love, we, you know, we love the game. It's as simple as that. Um, paintball uncensored, look for it, you know, the app store, Google play, Pick it up on your phone. Is free. On social media. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, when's it's, it going to be available on an Android? Now. <laughs> right now. Like oh. Nowski. Yeah, like a couple weeks right, ago. Okay. Get in on this oh. thing. And, oh, um, all right. Get on the bandwagon. Uh, no, it's 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 fun. It's for paintball. It's the 90s, it's And it's, it's, it's for a good cause. It's for us. It's for paintball. Right down. I well, appreciate, appreciate all it, of you, Josh. Gentlemen. Thank you appreciate so much, as always. I'm honored to be here. Thank you, sir. Mr. Joshua Silverman from Belkin. Um, Josh, what a hell of a guy, huh? Single one of the one of the greatest people in paintball. Like next, he has been behind Kevin. the scenes. Kevin. I'm uh, Kevin. Kevin's got Kevin goes without saying, but Kevin's oh, okay. always been. Then I won't say it's cool anymore. Larger okay. than life, but <laughs> Josh has just always been behind the scenes, writing articles, involved with so many different magazines, Great guy. and pushing the sport without ever being seen. I, Great guy, really is. I don't know. I, I disagree with that. But, you know, then again, Josh is from the Northeast. So, <laughs> you know, I've been seeing Josh around for many, 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 many years. <laughs> right on. All right, Steve. Let's go ahead and say goodbye to everybody and give us your, your call sign there, pal. <laughs> give us a call sign. <laughs> Well, I don't know. I don't know what else I can have to say. Everybody said how great it is. I'm just looking forward to seeing everybody at ICC. I wish Fred, you, and Bill were going to be there. I do, Kevin. Too. I really do. can't wait to see you. I I'll be look at, forward to seeing you too, man. I'll be I'll be at uh, the Paintball Media booth and the Alley Remembered Foundation booth. I'll also be playing with Team Fox Five Man, which is the Airgun Designs uh, old last remaining. 
factory team, if yeah. you will. So yeah. I'm really excited about that. Um, I'm not forgetting something. Pardon? You are not playing 10 man? At this time, no, but that doesn't mean that I won't get roped into something I don't well, know. Well, you want to play with my second line? I, I, <laughs> to wear a Master Blaster jersey, I will we'll talk <laughs> offline because the reason I'm able to make it to ICC is i got to help out Amadea with Paintball Media. So, so if you need an alternate, it, jump in for a couple games. I may, just, I may just do that, just to be able to earn the Master Blaster logo, like, that's well, just a your family one. forever, dude. <laughs> I, right? We jump you in, and the only way out is death. <laughs> <laughs> right on, Steve. That's the initiation. <laughs> oh, crap. Hey, don't mention the God, Bill, don't mention the initiation. Hi, man. I was excited. Yeah. Balls of fire. Yeah. Balls of fire. <laughs> anyway, if anybody wants to come by, I'm going to be doing live streaming. I've got a lot of podcast stuff. I don't know what, like, there's so many things buzzing around, but in that case, I, I know Fred used up all my time with his monologue, so I'll just yep. say play with passion, everybody. See y'all, ICC. Take it easy, See you Steve. In a couple days, Steve. Mr. Steve McGuire from Paintball Unknown Podcast, The Hand. So, yeah, I hear that's pretty good. I, I like the hand sign he's got. You know, that's pretty sharp. I, there he keeps a picture of it in his wallet. It is what it is. So. It reminds Kevin, me of Wilson for some reason. I there you go, Kevin. I appreciate very much you coming on tonight, buddy. Oh, thanks for thanks for having me. Uh, you for know, you me. can jump on anytime. You know that you got you got an open invitation. Yeah, but, you know, I'll come on whenever you guys want me on. We love you on. You know that, buddy. I'll give you a chance to say goodbye to everybody and. Uh, well, goodbye, everybody. Yeah, and you know, I, I like I tell everybody and have since since I've been to Woodfall, you threw a hell of a hell of a party. I loved it. Yeah, well, come if you know if anybody out there is watching and wants to come out and talk to me, I'll be at the ICC. I'm easy to find. Absolutely. All right, Kevin, you have a good evening, buddy. You too, guys. Billy, be good. Freddie, yep. thanks. You bet. My pleasure. All right, everybody. It's Mr. Kevin Donaldson from the Master Blasters. Uh, great group tonight, Billy. Awesome. It is. That's all you can say. It was tired me out. What the hell's yeah. going on? <laughs> and then you have Tim call with with <laughs> David and Chip there. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, that is uh, that's just so cool. Yeah, they, they right. just sent me a picture of all the meeting in the dining room. They're all like, "Wait a minute!" Very very cool. All yeah. right, Billy. Well, it was a pretty good show tonight. Now you and I. Uh, next time you and I are going to meet, uh, other than next Tuesday evening, uh, yep. face to face is going to be September 11th and 12th. At yep. Monte Casino. Monte Casino. Uh, yep. Everybody get online. They, they are going to be giving away a T-shirt, uh, the, the game shirt for this year. Uh, all you got to do is uh, tell them, you know, how many shirts you got, whether it's none or 15, you know, and uh, they're just going to put you in a random drawing. They'll do a live drawing uh, on the Monte Casino Facebook page. So uh, check it Very out. Cool. Yeah, I think the shirts are pretty cool. I love it. Yeah. So. All right, Billy. Well, uh -huh. you have a good evening, my friend. You too. We'll see you Tuesday. All right, pal. That's my co-host, Mr. William Daly. Um, one hell of a guy. He's. Uh, I'm, I'm very, very proud to have him with me. So I want to thank all my guests that were on tonight. Um, I want to definitely thank Frank and Jennifer Montressor. Um, I, I got the logo behind me. Uh, I, I know I, I don't have to wish them a good tournament this weekend because I know they're going to make it happen. And like I tell everybody, if, if you guys, even if you don't play, go out there and check it out. See the fun that these people are having. And and let's all work together to build paintball. You know, I mean, I, I've done it for years and years, and, and everybody else has done it too. But if we all work collectively together, we can make this sport just boom. So let's all do that. What do you say? All right? So till next Tuesday evening, 7 o'clock Pacific time, please play hard, play safe, play fair, but get out there and play paintball, huh? All right. Everybody have a good, safe evening. Bye now.